let's wait a minute or so for this to people to get in. Trials of mana. Oh boy, this is gonna be good. Starts with Kevin. What do you want, phone? Okay, Twitch, stop. I know I'm on my computer. I know what I'm doing. Stop. Stop sending me texts. At least I like to think I know what I'm doing. Yo, Mattis. Yo, Skulls and Lulls. You guys got here just in time. You don't know what just in time. It's still a minute or so early, but... How you guys been? I have been doing... Okay, all things considered. I'm just kind of hoping with the tests. I, it was okay. My corona test was okay. Um, apparently this newer one is... You, it only has to go in your nose an inch. But you have to put it in there, twist it twice, hold it in each nostril for... Uh, hold it in each nostril for 15 seconds, and then switch hands, put it in the other one, twist it twice, hold it for 15 seconds, and then send off. Um, I'm okay, as far as I can tell. I'm occasionally coughing. Um, I still have my random sore throat I woke up with on Monday, um, and I just feel blah, so I'm hoping I don't have it. But if I do, I mean, uh, I mean, it'll it is what it is. Oh, huh. I was wondering why Charlotte was randomly just talking about. Um, the sore throat earlier this week. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm hoping it's either maybe it might just be a cold, or I don't know. Just I've had this this sore throat for a couple of days now, and it just it just showed up randomly. So I'm, I mean, I'm just nervous. So I mean, my managers, everyone I, I work with knows, um, they're fine with me just taking this off because yeah, I'm. Don't need to be spreading this. Hopefully, it's just a cold, but. Shah has coronavirus. Oh no! Don't say that. What was I doing? Head to Lamp Bloom Woods. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was, uh. We, uh, yeah, we had just beaten that one dude who was, uh, an enemy of. Yeah, I still have, a uh, uh, taste and smell. Um. I'm just hoping. Like I said, it. I don't know if it might be. I don't know what it's gonna be. I, I just don't know. If anything, I mean, I might just be sick with something. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm just, maybe my body was just going like, you know what? You know, it's stressful enough for you as it is. There's too much in the world going on. We're just going to make you sick so you can rest. I'm hoping it's just something like that, but I don't know. But, I mean, if I do have it, I'm just going to hunker down here for two, three weeks. It's Michelob virus. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Michelob, no, it's Coors Light. <laughs> so, yeah, we were going to... Um, 
I'm trying to remember what we were doing. Yeah, we just got the, uh, we fought that going guy who was Kevin's rival person who's jealous of him. He turned into a baby. And now we're finding someone else. Oh, yeah, we're going to meet, uh, we're going to where the elves are. Where someone made a comment like, oh, no, they don't like humans. And I'm like, yeah, but none of us are humans, at least fully, so. Townsvoke and Mintas are nice. Nice to humans, too. What do you... What is your pose, Kevin? It's the Michael virus. It makes you 25% cooler and good at RPGs, but you also get a cough. <laughs> it might be. But the only thing, I'm actually going to have to be, if if I do have it, there is something, I'm, <laughs> Charlotte's little dance there. I'm going to be practicing what I preach. Fra Franz K Kafka. I'm going to be practicing what I preach because I, I told the manager, I was like, man, if people who, you know, need to quarantine themselves, you know, as long as it's not that bad, they need to, like, get hobbies or, you know read or do something because I was like I told her I was like you know I'd be able to do so much I'd be able to uh, you know catch up on shows I'm far behind on I'd be able to read some books work on some projects you know so mm. kind of let this kind of easy because I don't know as soon as I started talking my throat's starting to not hurt. I'm just feeling it getting drier, mainly you know, because I haven't really talked to anyone the last couple of days. Lamp Bloom Woods. Yeah. We are going to this nice little forest where there's just creatures just wandering around, and we're going to murder them because they're in our way. Don't keep me waiting. Be quiet, Angela. <laughs> Get water. I actually do have a cup of water. <laughs> I might have to grab some more for for the sippy hydrate boy. I am staying hydrated. I'm a thirsty boy, but I keep myself hi nice and hydrated. I have one of those like I think it's a two gallon size Brita water filter. I go through that in about two days. I drink a lot of water. How is she talking if she looks like a baby that has a pacifier in her mouth? Maybe everyone's just psychic. Oh wait, no, yeah, they did. Lumina was like, telepathy's great, you know, yeah. How dare you hit me, that's so rude. Angela, run away. Oh, really, Angela? You idiot. You're literally just standing there while someone's putting you to sleep. Did I get turned around? No, I didn't get turned around. There's just a... Uh... I did get turned around, but there's only one way in or out here. Now this, I was about to say dungeon, it's not a dungeon, this area, we actually have to keep at night time because there are some flowers we're about to run into that we can only find the way at night, so I guess it's kind of good I have Kevin in my party because then we'll be more powerful. Good job, Charlotte.
And depending on how far we get, I think we might get to the second class change. In Wampong Woods, the secret is the flowers. At night, some flowers grow wet. Cool. Follow those to get to the law. Thank you, Charlotte. A little exposition y, but you know, it's fine. Get some water going there. <laughs> okay, I'm really allowed to kill that guy. <laughs> She was trying her best, and so I, I let her dab that one. Hmm. Oh, saw a chest up on the right there. special move, that's actually one of Reese's abilities she gets, that Lance swirl thing, whatever it was called. She's actually pretty... Her special moves are kind of overpowered. Oh, oh. Cactus up here, or was there just a chest? Or just a chest? Oh, that was kind of worth it. I'm sure I'll use it against a boss fight somewhere. Did I go this way? Did the map just. Okay, the map just decided to uh, unlock it. Wow, they both just decided to throw a holy bolt at the same time. And I know I said this last year, but man, Kevin and Angela, they're really starting to... They're starting to be my main damage dealers. They're doing pretty good. Charlotte kind of is lagging behind a little bit, but... I mean, that's that's okay. I, I picked her because I wanted to have her story, not... Not really to play as her, because... Jeez, will you stop stomping around up there? Come on. Charlotte pleading not guilty to guilty to war crimes. Shawit is too soft to cast damage. Well, she does know that healing light spell, so she can do something. And I had read that if you choose her dark side, um, apparently she gets a couple of magic spells, but it's like a summon spell and some other things, but she doesn't really get healing abilities. And I, I, I needed a healer, because I can't rely on items. Oh, who said you could hit me? A 
phenomenal fist to woo. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for having that orgasm again, Angela. Thank you very much. There you are, little cactus. I don't remember where we are. You chose the dark side and Charlotte suddenly has swastikas banded on her arms. Oh, jeez. I mean, she does have the blonde hair and blue eyes, so... Uh, uh, uh. I'm on the job. And boy howdy, we get to meet some xenophobic elves right now. Since I've never gotten to this part, I don't know if they'll ignore Charlotte. I've had her as a party member, but not as my main person. So I guess we'll find out now. But first I'm going to loot everything. These, uh, there are headstones here. Uh, I'm going to spoil it. These are Charlotte's parents right here, her mother and her father. Spoilers ruined it for you guys. Oh no, they don't want to talk to a half-elf. Darn them. I know. They're racist. Hmm. Her dead pawin pawins. <laughs> uh, they won't even buy from me. I can't even sell to them or anything. Spoiled like February's milk. Oh gosh. By then it's just cottage cheese. Rest here? No, we can't. But I can get some items. Alright, now come on, start giving me some items. Or equipment. Oh, lovely. I can hear them screaming upstairs. You want a slice of bread? <laughs> Slice of milk, I mean, sorry. I think I saw, like, an old cartoon that did that. Or oh, maybe it was Ren and Stimpy, actually, now I think about it. That probably was, like, a thing. Now the elves will talk to us. Let's just find the elder and get this over with. I don't want us to wait any more time. Stop screaming. Uh, well. Oh, you're screaming outside now. Oh, great. I love my neighbors so much. Where is Kevin? I want... Oh, there he is. Ke what are you... Kevin, are you staring at that flower? No one talked to us. Did we do something? Okay. You seriously look like you're staring at this flower and contemplating if that's a flower or not. Oh well, we're well, just gonna follow the star and... Oh, there's a little cactus. What the hell? Someone's like demonically laughing outside. Just ignore it, just ignore it. Don't don't deal with crazy. Don't acknowledge them. It'll go away eventually.
They're being weird outside and I'm uncomfortable. Now let's see how this plant pans out with Charlotte being my person. Charlotte. Is that really you? Who are you? Hmm. You do not remember. You were very young when you were taken to Weno. <laughs> I should not be surprised. Oh! Are you the Elfin Elder? Oh good, yeah, they're, they're being weird. How did you get here? I hope that nothing dire has happened to his eminence, the priest of... It either sounds like they're playing, like it might be a parent playing with a child, but like the laughing's kind of weird, so I don't know if it's maybe like a boyfriend and girlfriend doing something. It's weird. It's very weird. Please. We need your help. Oh, you are the ones chosen by Fairy herself. When the Priest of Light put up a barrier to protect Holy City Wendell, he used forbidden magic. It came with a terrible curse. Now he has fallen to an incurable illness. Hmm, I see. I did not think I would ever hear tell of... Yeah, they're Holy being kind of loud. <laughs> it must be Laran and Shayla's will from the world beyond. And Mama? Yes, my child. Dividing their families caused Laron and Shayla much pain. Humans and elves are forbidden to marry. His eminence and I were against the union, afraid that it would shorten their lifespans. But their love was more important to them than our law. Shayla left Dior and eloped with Laurent. Once I saw their happiness, I... I'm being snoopy. I don't... After a time, I don't know what's going on. I think a woman is maybe yelling at her daughter, and the kid's being weird. I can only kind of look at my blinds, so I'm not going out there right now. To assuage his guilty conscience for abandoning his son, his eminence swore to raise you, his granddaughter, in Laurent's place. That is when you left Dior for the Temple of Light. And to avoid future tragedy, I sealed Dior away from humans. We two agreed that only elves were to know where to find this settlement. Charlotte, just come back here. Leave her be. Regarding the issue of his eminence's illness, I'm afraid there is nothing I can do with the mana of the world so depleted. In the end, it sounds like our only hope is to get the sword of mana and ask the goddess of mana to heal him. Fairy is helping us. We're trying to open the sanctuary portal. Looking for elementals. Where is the wood stone? You know? Ke Kevin, Kevin, sh maybe Angela should do the talking there right now. There is a mana statue in the northwest of Lampbloom Woods. If you borrow Luna's moon powers at night, the Lampblooms should let you through. Charlotte! I know. I know. Grandpa and he would laugh at how dumb I'm being. You're not being dumb, Charlotte. I get that mana sword so I can save Heath and Grandpa. Until then, I won't cry anymore. I won't. I'm doing fine. Wee wee. Now let's go find the vast elemental. Thanks for everything. You have grown so much, Charlotte. Best of luck. Yay. What are you, what are you dinging for, phone? Stop it. 
What's going on? Hey, lovely. I think we can actually talk to the elves now. I think they'll say us. Only the elves will do our. We live apart from the humans where it's more peaceful. Mm hmm. Just run by a bunch of poisonous bugs and stuff that'll kill you really easily. Isn't living in nature great? Now, I don't know if there's anything worth really checking out here apart from like buying items and stuff, so we're just gonna leave once I go through stuff. Ugh, I hate humans. Okay, well, they are established. None of us are really human, so... Piss off. Or be angry with only half of Charlotte. Welcome. Come, take a look. Good work. Use this. Always good to have a Oh no. I think that's Lumina's voice actor there. Oh, it is. That's Lumina's voice actor. <laughs> I don't want to. I'm not making. I don't want to make fun of him. I don't want to because that's not nice. Come, take a look, in that order. Mm-hmm, yep. Did I... Oh, I don't... I've been playing too many other RPGs where, like, Welcome. it doesn't automatically equip stuff, so I was, like, looking through my equipment, and I was like, oh, I need to sell this, but no. No, I don't. Or I need to equip it before I can sell it. That's what I was meaning. Acid Claw, that sounds deadly. What does it look like? That looks really painful. Good. What does Angela's look like? Can't really get a good view of it. And then Charlotte's, yeah, that's definitely a nunchuck. Rest until evening just so we can have Kevin again at full strength and can recover some MP. Yay, items I'm not gonna use. Thanks, game. Welcome. That was a weird glitch that happened while it was loading. So I'm busy. Can you could you come back later? <laughs> you are busy. Look at <laughs> staring at that note. You are so busy. Busy, busy, busy. Okay, what do you gotta say now? Lamp blooms, beautiful and huge. Yep. Those were definitely words, Kevin. Thank you very much. Yeah, let's do it. Huzzah.
Where are you missing him? Come on, Kevin. Kevin, that's like the one thing you're good at is punching, and you can't even do that. Come on. How can you, like, just take all that damage and not go down? Oh, this must be the mana statue the Elder mentioned. I mean, it's the only mana statue we've seen. Good job. There you are. Would it be all right for me to take one of these flowers with me? <sighs> I do so love the smell. Luna, you don't have any hands. Are we just gonna like hang that around your little halo thing? What's going on? Well, oh, you okay there, Angela? You were like just stuttering a bit. <laughs> I remember correctly, I think there's going to be kind of a tough boss that I will not be talking much through. That flower face bothers me. Yeah, yeah. There's like a lot of stuff that like, like design wise, it looks kind of neat. But whenever you put it in practice, it's like, eh, how does this work? <laughs> Okay, Angela, enough, they're dead. Calm down. We are getting stronger. <laughs> Just, come on, throw <laughs> it's like three holy bolts you threw at the same time. Angela is. She's. She is bloodthirsty. I mean, remember at the beginning of the game, her mom was gonna sacrifice her, so I mean, she's got a little bit of pent up rage there, and she's not really found a good outlet for it yet, and I guess just killing monsters is it. Yeah, level up. But I'm gonna start saving those for the next uh, job class we get. I think she's already wearing kind of dark red, so, heh, heh, you know, the blood would manage. I'm sorry, but Silk silk Spitter is a much cooler name than Caterpillar. Yeah. Silk Spitter is kind of a, it is, this is a pretty cool name for a Caterpillar monster. Alright, well. Here we 
go. And like I said, I think this is... Uh, if this is the boss I'm thinking it is, it's this, this one's kind of annoying. Because I'm going to be doing a lot of healing and... Not, yeah, I'm not going to be talking much because this one's kind of annoying. Oh no, it's an angry flower bud. monsters that are larger than this. Was that supposed to be scary? <laughs> I think it's been about as scary as some of the other stuff in this game. Oh. Good, it's evolving. I would say that this is supposed to be about as scary as that ghost scene, but I don't know. There's no way you could have taken that other than it just being funny. You can heal yourself. There we go. Even coming in close, you need to be staying away, just throwing out your magic. Oh, whoa. Come on, Charlotte Hill, thank you. Whoa! is just not getting stunned. Come on. Charlotte, come on. Stop being stupid, everyone. <laughs> We've already fought through these bosses. Well, not through this one, but... Oh, no. That will be the last stream of The Last of Us 2. Oh no! Oh no! I know, because I was kind of thinking, I was like, you've been... I mean, because what, you've done about... Well, I mean, would this be like four episodes where you've been playing as Ab? Because what you did about four or five episodes with um, Ellie, and then I would assume that Abby was the second half of the game. Dryad, you don't look sad at all. You are just undulating very sexually right now. Thank you ever so much. Oh, forgive me for causing you so much trouble. Yeah, I'm going to assume Abby or Ellie are going to die. I hope it's not one of those you choose who you play as and you have to kill the other person. I fear I would be of no help 
to anyone right now. It would only get in the way. No way! You're the wood elemental, right, Dwyad? <laughs> that means you have the most mana power. I promised myself right. that I wasn't going to cry anymore. I know you can be strong too. Are you certain? Yeah, the only way I'm kind of saying it is, though, Abs, yeah, she might be pissed at Ellie because she's coming after her, but, I mean, her... Yeah, <laughs> she is just... Yeah, she is very voluptuous for uh, being a tiny wiggling tree. I will do my best to help you all. Yeah, of course, like we've... Like you guys pointed out in your stream, neither ones are either right or wrong in their stuff. The only thing I can say is... That. Yay! This plant got wiggies. <laughs> A wiggles. Okay, good. Thank you, Fairy. Just don't worry about it. It's fine. When it's I fine. When I blasted the mana power in the sanctuary to get to this world, I appeared in the sky above that island. Okie dokie! Let's go! <laughs> well, at least you love... I gotta love your optimism, Charlotte. I... I don't know if I've ever used... Um, what's it, Dryad's abilities? Because I think hers are kind of not here. I don't think I get any with Angela. Do I get any with Charlotte? Let's see, I've got the sabers. No, I guess not. I guess I think Reese or maybe on someone else's dark side or light side you get the abilities because I don't have anything for for Dryad for either of them. No oh, good. Yeah, we're only a couple levels away from getting our well, being the level we need for our class upgrade, because we have to be level 38. Not nice. The, you are throwing those out faster than that little area is going out. Come on, game. Stop doing that. It's not nice. And I'm just throwing out those candies because, man, we have so much and <laughs> we already have 90. We already have 80 something of them. I don't even know why I'm saving there. I saved literally a minute ago. Get back to the shore. Oh, just follow this path here. Kid, stop screaming. Give it to me, we'll get you! <laughs> 
Oh, I thought I'd actually hit more of these guys. Here we go. Let's do this. Come on. See, it's a joke because she wants to kill more. Nothing can satisfy your bloodlust now. Good, Angela's about to level up a little bit. Hooray! You know, what does Angela look like whenever she plays the flute? Because I'm assuming they do different animations. Oh. I guess Charlotte just plays it anyway. Okay. He's like, oh, you know, we just, you know, we, we made everyone forget about this island. Oh, you mean this little island right here in the middle of the ocean? Whatever. So we just need to get here because I need to use the bathroom and I'm waiting until this cutscene starts. Hey, Artemis, come here. Come here. <laughs> Hello. A little trotting there. Random reggae music. Well, no, it's always been uh, playing reggae music when, um, um, what's his face has been on. Be right back. I'm just gonna let the cutscene play out. Thank you for everything. I never could have attempted to open the portal all on my own. Mana has continued to weaken throughout our journey. But I think I can still manage with what remains of my strength. Give it a try. Elementals, lend me your powers! <laughs> Time to show my stuff. Don't you worry, sister. You got this. You hear? The angry seahorses rejected Pokemon. <laughs> Yay, now we've got all the eight MacGuffins. No! Oh no! What happened, Fairy? That was a that was a panty shot there. You were 
were so close. Don't worry. Next time you'll definitely get it. Try again? <sighs> no, 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 no. You get down, Artemis. Don't mess with the cords. It's okay. Okay. I'll try one more time. Please, Goddess of Mana, help us. What if the light fades and they're dead? Oh no. <laughs> Plot twist, that's the end of the game. Kevin speaks like every word confuses him, even though he's the one saying it. No, oh, no. He combined with the powers of the other elementals. He created that huge portal in the sky. Oh, and it's too high up for us to reach. Da fuck. Way to go, oh, fairy. No. I don't like height. So there's random airships now, just so you guys know. We're just going to drop that on there for you guys. Oh yeah, fairy does have wings. Hey, did you hear that? What was that voice? Was it the Crimson Wizard? <laughs> we couldn't activate the mana stones with the forbidden magic alone. Thank you so much for releasing enough mana energy. Yay, good job, Charlotte. You're now, the best. All Tana's flying battleship, Gigantress, will begin the invasion of the Sanctuary of Mana. Please accept this gift with our warmest regards. Ha 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 Coming over to say hi. Hello. Oh, hello, Lulu Lynx. <laughs> Your Majesty, Beastmen subjects, now is the time to invade the sanctuary of mana. Once you get the sword of mana, the human world will tremble. Create a beast man utopia. <laughs> Does that sound equitable, your furry majesty? <laughs> Proceed with your plan. I can't take anyone yes, serious if they use the word you you your furry majesty. <laughs> We're off to the front lines. Bobby Green being over here. Yeah, he's a weird guy. <laughs> Those birds look like they don't care about what's going on. They're just... They were just told to fly and... They're just doing their own job. <laughs> hey, they animate feathers the same way they animate body hair. Yeah... What you mean, wings and, uh, and you? hair don't work the same way? What is it? They have opened the portal to the sanctuary. 
You forget to whom you speak. Of the two of us, you are the one who is late. Oh, snap. Now, what news do you have of his dark majesty? He used the last of his essence to bring the dark stone back from Mavolia and into this realm. His dark majesty has perished. Then it is proceeding as he planned. I have prepared the vessel that will bring us through the portal and into the sanctuary of mana. Let us cast off. I mean, he might be a gay vampire. Who knows? Once we have the mana sword. We can easily revive his dark majesty. With his dark powers, we can transform this realm. I mean, think about it. His best itself. best gal pal is Belladonna, and he's like, we have to revive his dark his majesty. majesty mm -hmm. Forever. So I forget how long this cutscene is. <laughs> so I'm assuming we're just kind of sitting here while all this stuff's going on and we're just not going to do anything about it. More like Boobadon, am I right? Yes. Wasn't that The Simpsons where, um,. Was it Booberella or something? Was that it when they're making fun of like Vampira? I think that's what it was, Booberella. Everyone, wake up! Oh, I guess we were just napping all day. Fairy, you could have told us about this earlier. My grandpa was telling me about a place called the Westfield Peak in Wollong. Is that it? Let's go check. A movie just a video game that's all cutscenes. Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, it was basically the David Cage games. fully into a... I don't know. It just seems like we still can't fully get those cinematic movies just right. Because Detroit Become Human was probably his best one. But it still kind of can't quite decide if it wants to be a movie or a game. And it tries to have both ways and you just kind of can't. I feel like either just need to make a movie or a game. Can't really do both. That's how's that a hint game? If like that's what we're just supposed to do. Now where is this place at? Where did I... Oh. I just noticed if you hit X, it that's it makes like a weird car noise. Let's see, we have to go over here. I didn't realize we had a car horn for this guy, but apparently I just discovered that. <laughs> Game, don't give me stuff I can press randomly. Don't do that, I'll, I'll make use of it. And that's a threat. It, yeah, maybe it is a mating call. I don't know. 
<laughs> Just a random mating call or car horn, who knows? <laughs> Yeah, we have to go up to where uh, the Larat is, or whatever it was called. Reese's Palace. Oh no! Those meanies ran inside before us! <laughs> they won't get away! Let's hurry and go to the Citadel! Yeah, it is a boat horn. <laughs> oh, I'm just running. These are. Well, thank you for giving me nighttime. Yeah, just escaping. They're, they're giving us so little experience for where we are that I'm not even gonna worry about this. Car mating horn. Was it through here or no? That was the that was the Somnosa field. Gosh, she even sounds like a valley girl saying bye. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, Angela, stop it. It was funny the first time. Easy Angela, stop it. Stop going overboard on these things. <laughs> At least it's my fault for having her be aggressive about things. Oh, thank However, you, Amazon. The thank Defender you. Is the protector of the Laurent Mountains. It is said that he only appears for us Amazons. Okay, that's a cool story there, lady. Thank you so much. Can I go in here and actually talk to, um, Reese? I don't know if I can. I've never come and check, at least. Nope, guess not. We don't need to talk to Reese. Well, bye. So I know the first time I played this game with uh, where Duran was my main character, I didn't have Reese in my party. She didn't show up here, so I guess she's just not going to be in the rest of the game. You guys don't have any as anything asinines to say while I get here? Well, okay. Nothing like, oh boy, it's so high up here. Oh my goodness, golly gee, I sure hate being up this high. I'm just expecting them to say something stupid. <laughs> Alone. 
I don't think you could have, Kevin. Jeez, will you stop running up there? Now there's a helicopter. Why is everything so noisy all of a sudden? What if to fight the final boss, the party had to assemble like a flesh flesh mech? Oh, jeez. They just have to use the power of mana or something like that. Some generic fantasy trope. How dare you run away from me? I'm trying to kill you. Get back here. The power of mayonnaise. I mean, we've gotten, let's see, we've got wood, light, darkness. Eh, why not? Why not? Let's have mayonnaise be a power they need. Stop. Why can't I hit you guys? Come on. Get down here. Is that all there was over here? Oh well, it was good experience, I guess. Oh, oh I see gl glistening over there. Oh, but what the hell, game? Did you not see what I was trying to jump over? Thank you. Well, we got a piece of candy, so... One completely useless. How much further is this? Yeah, there we go. We're about halfway done now. I guess since I've already beaten this twice, I forget just like how short this game kind of really is. Because we still have a couple more, we'll have a few more streams left, because, you know, this spoilers, this isn't the end of the game. But, I mean, we are a good, probably about two, almost two-thirds of the way done with the game. And I'm not doing the post-game content. I'm just, I'm just not. You okay there, lady? You good? Okay. You just mind your own business? Okay. You good? Is there a... I think that's the... Where's the line? Oh, there it is. Yay, I'm glad you're very confident in yourself, Angela. Spinning around, come on. Oh, nice. I got two of them at once with that one. So weak. Could have won alone. 
Could we have Kevin? Could we? It's, just, it's the flat ground. Come on. It's not that difficult. I can't remember if there's a boss up here or not. I would assume there is, but I can't remember. What did you do? Oh, the dragon? Yeah, the dragon just, yeah, it does look like a really bad toupee. <laughs> yeah, Skulls and Lulls, in fairness, I forget the dragons. I mean, it's, it's a dragon. <laughs> I forget the bad of Tirishi. <laughs> I'm just like, Flammy, that's a dumb name, but okay, if that's what you want. <laughs> She's just chilling underneath my little table here. I'm not my, my desk. Looks like they fought and defeated each other before we even got to the sanctuary. It's horrible. And look, there's that tree of mana. Charlotte got a little, a little angry there. <laughs> Yay, yeah, it's more items I'm never going to use. You're, you're doing the best job there. Hawabo really takes the edge off the horrors of war. It does. Yeah, it does. <laughs> To make our way to the tree of mana right now. Whoa, nice. Both of us got it. That was kind of a nice little boost of experience there. I don't think I've gotten a single one since I started this session.
War Crimes. <laughs> For Prisoner of War. They were arrested for war crimes, convicted of waterboarding. Charlotte committing genocide. <laughs> now you're just now you're gonna give me these all of a sudden. Is it because I'm kind of under leveled? Well, not under leveled, but I should be about level 38 right now. Was there something over here? Did I just like miss a chest or what? Are there chests here? There are no chests. Was there like a little cactus or? Oh, okay. Yeah, I needed that 110 lucre. Thanks, game. How much is left in this game? Um trying to remember there's we have to finish this section up uh, another thing happens and we have to defeat do you care if I give spoilers a little bit I mean, there's uh, I, not big spoilers. Okay. Uh, well, there's this. Then something happens at the end of this. We have to fight eight bosses. And a couple of those bosses are by shortish dungeons. There's a final dungeon and then the final boss. So maybe about f four or five more hours left or so. Maybe. Yeah, so just a couple more streams. Yeah, that is kind of the good thing about this game. It's, it is, yeah, I'm kind of glad it's not incredibly long. So it is something that can be beaten, you know, in a few days. Because I think I did beat this within like a week of buying it. But I loved it so much I immediately started a new file and, you know, I'm in my fourth playthrough so I don't, I don't mind, I love this game. Jeez, that Dark Force is just killing them so badly. Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's a little bit longer, but I'm, I'm I mean, I'm kind of rushing it just a little bit. Just oh, jeez. Okay, I'm getting hit a lot. Oh, jeez, come on. Jeez, so uh, Oh jeez, they 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 reach they refill all their HP. I don't know if you ran away. But no, also the plus thing about this game not being that long, it's really as long as it needs to be, which 
you know, there are some RPGs I've played where they've gone on a little, way too much, way too much longer than they needed to, so. That is a plus. It is, it is as long as it needs to be. Without deciding to pull, like, you know, a fastball and be like, mwahaha, -ha, oh no, that was just the first half of the game, now here's a plot twist of everything. Like some other games. Oh, that's cool that it's daytime. That's nice. Let me see. Kevin's a werewolf, so I need the night. I need the nighttime. And then this is just a quick shortcut for us to get to the front of the sanctuary of mana. What's this? Are you like a seed? No, you're nothing. You're nothing I need. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I know, I know. Now I'll be coming back here a couple of times because this is the this is the only place we can get our final class upgrades. But we actually need um, first we need to be level thirty eight, which you know we're 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 almost there. But we also need an item. They're literally called question mark question mark question mark seeds. Like when I was reading guides of like you know because you know, I wanted you know find a you know look up routes to be like what's a good class to every every walkthrough was just saying question mark question mark question mark seeds. I thought they were like saying like I don't know what the seeds called or you know they're doing it like for a spoiler reason. No, the, the seeds are literally just called question mark, question mark, question mark seeds. <laughs> because it's like, man, I don't, I don't know, man, they're a seed. Yeah, woo, one more level. And then we can start fighting to get seeds, because they're kind of a random drop or in certain treasure chests. But, whoa, jeez, you guys are messing me up right now. There's an enemy skill on FF7. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I got that one, but yeah, that does I mean that does sound very Final Fantasy-esque. Which, haha, <laughs> Square Enix made this game too, so. And I mean, I do love Square Enix. I mean, come on, I've, I've been one of their biggest fans my whole life. And yeah, they're. I love them, but yeah, they're really kind of dumb when it comes to, like, names. But I guess, you know, it fits with the fantasy. It's I'm fine with it. Did I just go around in a big circle? Oh, no, I just didn't complete the circle. Wait. Do I need to, oh, I'm stupid. I literally just went in a big circle. Did I go over here though? I did. Oh, look guys, we're almost at the, the tree of mana. Supper ready, gotta go. Okay, well you enjoy your din din. I'll know, it's, I'll know how full you are and how much uh, percentages left on your iPad, and if you're clothed or not. Have a good dinner, Mattis. Whoa, Angela. Jeez, that dark gate just, like, destroyed. Jeez. Matarat, that's a good name. <laughs> I mean, that. Here, I'll put put Charlotte in the front for right now. I'll get the sword, yeah. And I'm sure nothing bad is gonna happen right now. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Charlotte, you're the you're the literal size of the sword. I don't think you'll be able to pull that out easily. Oh, don't rush it. You have to feel the connection to the sword in your heart. I heard a miss. Okay. Yay! Woohoo! I got the shot of mana! <laughs> Good job, Charlotte. I sure hope nothing bad happens. Oh no, did something bad happen? <laughs> How do I walk with this sword, Bailey? Uh, Bailey? Hey! Where are you, Bailey? I don't know what to do with this sword. shadow of the goddess of mana charlotte true wielder of my sword the goddess of mana i don't know skulls maybe you have to watch and find out hmm barry was taken prisoner by the forces of evil oh no what <laughs> please you must go to her Yeah, right, that's not the fairy. No, mana not her. <laughs> all but disappeared from the world. Soon, the mana tree will wither and die, and I will be no more. There is nothing more that I can do for you all, except leave you with this. I heard a miss. Hello. Chosen of the mana sword, as well as your companions. May the blessings of mana be with you always. Okay, Artemis, please. You need to kind of hang around that cord a little bit. Too much. Okay, you need to please get down. Please, please. Get down, Artemis. Thank you. Good kitty. A drum? Yeah, it's a drum. Because I don't know how the mana goddess knew of this, but now we have a drum to summon Flammy. Because, why not? Makes about as much sense as that king having a random flute to summon the, the reggae turtle duck thing. Okay. Now first, I'm going to do this because we're going to be using... Um, where did the flute go? Oh. Uh, I'm looking at, like, the thing on the left, and there we go. Because I'm going to be using that. In fact, I can actually get rid of that. Uh... Get rid of the flute. I won't use that anymore, because we, we have the dragon. But there's nothing I really need to put on here that I don't use that much. Well, here, let me... There, my, if I remember to use that, I'll at least have it. Someone took Barry away! How dare they! Alright, you should be mad, Charlotte. Let's murder these little innocent creatures living here. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Good boost there. Thank you. Thank you, low cactus. And there is one that is uh, a three times, but I don't think I've gotten those in either of my uh, playthroughs. So I'm just not going to worry about it, because it's just an, it's just an experience boost for occasionally when we beat bad guys. How dare you spit into me? You're rude. Good, and Angel's about to level up now. Sweet. I have lost. The enemy invaded our stronghold in Dragon's Maw unopposed. Our leader, Dragon Lord, is no more. This is the end. The wizard was no match for his foes. <laughs> I too will disappear. The Dragon Lord's dark magic was all that sustained me. An already departed soul. Oop. Sorry, just bumped the microphone there, sorry. Wasn't really the answer, but okay. Hmm. So, turns out that the people that the Crimson Wizard were trying to resurrect the Dragon Lord seem like we won't be able to see that path this time. Hmm, interesting. And that's who the final boss would be if we had chosen uh, Duran or Angela as our main character. Oh, there's Belladonna. So I'll have to see what Boobarella has to say. It is over. All of it. Now his dark majesty can never be revived. My master, his dark majesty, sacrificed his life by using a forbidden spell to bring the dark stone from Mavolia to this realm in order to gain access to the sanctuary. Using the sword of mana, we would then revive him. Together we would turn this world into our new homeland of Mavolia. But a new enemy came and destroyed my master's corpse. Now his soul is trapped forever in darkness, lost to us, just like the mana sword. We were utterly defeated. Malopio thought we might still be able to obtain the sword ourselves in order to bring Mavolia to this realm. But a world without his dark majesty. I could not bear the thought. That cowardly fool. Malopio's pettiness was an insult to his dark majesty's memory. So I destroyed him with my own hands. Don't worry. I intend to follow soon. His dark majesty was the reason for my existence. And this is farewell. Uh -huh.
Yeah, but the thing is, uh, if we had been having Reese or Hawkeye as the main character, yeah, she would have sacrificed Reese's younger brother to, uh, to bring that back. So, um, yeah, she's still not good. Don't feel sorry for her. She is a terrible person. Ooh, I have not seen this before, so I want to know who, what they have to say here. And mind you, we have not seen Heath since the beginning, and Charlotte heard about them saying he was corrupted. Heath? Is that you? See? I told you. He's no longer the Heath you remember. Meet Tainted Soul, my subordinate. <laughs> Bring the Sword of Mana to Therolia Palace. You wish Fairy to live, Charlotte. <laughs> Very heartless, tainted soul. Well done. I will go on ahead. I'll see you all soon. They took Fairy. We were distracted. Don't know. He's becoming aware. He's what using big words now. This has got to be a trap. That's not the real heat. It's not. This is all that weirdo's fault. He's twigged heat. I've got to save him. And Fairy, too. Good, yeah. We Even if it is a trap, I won't weave them behind. To the goddess of mana. We gotta go to the wall we are. But first, we gotta use our item seeds. I wonder what would happen if I only had Kevin as my main character and I didn't have Charlotte in my party. I guess that'll be what another playthrough is like, because I want to know what that interaction was like. Now, if you'd like, would you like me to tell you who that Dark Knight was that uh, was uh, wanting to resurrect the Dragon Lord? I mean, I, if, if you want me to tell you, I can tell you if that's okay with you guys. Um, yeah, I don't know if, uh, so the Dark Knight, um, that's actually Duran's father. Um, if we had chosen him, uh, we got a thing saying that, uh, Duran's father went off on an adventure and never came back. So, yeah, the, the Crimson Wizard killed him and basically reanimated his body for the Dark Knight. Um, I don't know if Heath always gets possessed, uh, I I might, I'd have to play through this with Kevin and not have Charlotte, because I know when Charlotte's still my party, she mentions Heath. And I think when I played it with Reese, um, Charlotte was just one of my party members. Um, he did mention something about... Uh, he did mention something about um, Heath being possessed. But at the end of the game, when all this stuff happens, because... Depending on who you choose, those interactions happen differently. Um, he mentioned something like, oh, well, Heath is fine. He's just basically, you know, he's he's in a coma right now because of the darkness. And he was in um, uh, Wendell with the priest. And yeah, there's a lot of interesting different interactions. I mean... It's that's why I'm like I'm like I want to know all of them because it was so you know it's interesting to cut a piece of like. Yeah, it's just interesting kind of how the plot pieces together. 
I have not done this part. And I, I think this is the only time you can go to Ferolia then. Um, unless you choose Kevin as a parter. With Reaper, yeah, it's, especially since this game is only, you know, like, you know, 15 to 20 hours. So that's an easy game for me to replay as opposed to, like, you know, <laughs> some games I play that are, like, you know, hundreds of hours long. I mean, don't be wrong, I love Breath of the Wild, but I'm like, that game, if I want to beat it, I usually put several hundred hours into that game. So that's kind of difficult for me to replay, even though I've done it twice already, getting all the hearts and everything. Ooh, what kind of beans? Like kidney beans? Pinto beans? Baked beans? Pork and beans? Green beans. Was that a? I think that was a werewolf howling in the beans and corn. Exactly, beans and cornbread. Bean burritos, okay. Well, you better buy some air freshener, because I'm probably gonna blow a hole in some sheets tonight. Oh, it's cute. These guys think they can have the same abilities that Kevin has. I heard a miss. She wanted to come by and say hi to me. Um, let's see. Which way do I go? Because I've only, I've only played through Kevin's part once in an intro, and I don't remember how the layout of this castle was. new to me. Yeah. Yeah, what did I what did I just say, game? I said this like twenty minutes ago. Yeah. Question mark, question mark, question mark seeds. I I, I told him, don't worry. We're fine, it's good. Don't worry about it. You sound surprised that we won, Kevin. Come on, we've been doing this for about for, for about ten hours. We we know you can fight. You heard it here, folks. Angela's a transformer. Oh, what? Is... Are you kidding me, game? I can't go through here because there's a piece of wood. Okay, okay, whatever. We'll play by your rules.
Oh, this is the way to go. I don't I want to go here just yet because I want to explore a little bit. Optimist uh, Optimus Prime. Come here, Artemis. Come here. Hello. Hey. Why do I feel like this is going to be a mimic? Oh, listen, okay. It just seemed like it would be. Hey, no, we're not going to go detouring. I just want to get through this dungeon. I can't even go through this door, even though that piece of wood's not there. Okay, game, whatever. I'll play by your rules. Ooh, you guys were waiting on me. Wow, Angela, you are so close to leveling up. That's not even funny. Seven points. You know, it's kind of really bothering me a little bit because Kevin literally started his mission because Gorman tricked Kev, uh, his pet wolf buddy, to attack him, and he killed what's his face. I feel bad for not remembering his name, and yet we're here. We are killing all those little pups as well. A little weird. You guys gonna ambush me or what's going on here? Okay. I guess it was just a nice looking area. It is sad. I know, and I think they, they did mention something that like Gorman was putting them under control, but it's like, eh I don't know, with how this is, it's like no these are these are killed. Because they they burst into bones. I don't know how else to interpret that. We're not like, you know, knocking them out because they're evil. Oh, okay. I didn't even say I'd look for treasure chest, but... Ooh, defense ring. What do you got? What's that do for you guys? Uh... Who can defense? Oh, I guess it's only Charlotte who can def uh, equip that defense ring. Eh. Mm, I'm gonna just keep that Moogle slash sleep attack because there's there's a boss coming up that can Moogle us, so I want to keep that equipped. All right, now game, come on, we need to hurry this up because I only usually go for a couple of hours. Because I want to start cooking me some din din before Skulls and Lulls maybe finish up Last of Us 2 tonight. And we'll be sad. B <laughs> Bone Crusher. Good name weapon. Is it? <sighs> you still got nothing on Kevin, but you, know, you do pretty good damage now, Charlotte. I haven't decided. I think... <laughs> I know I bring this up all the time, but <laughs> I buy them so often because I have a marinade. I'm, I might put cook some pork chops tonight <laughs> with some mashed potatoes and some vegetables because I have potatoes and I have frozen vegetables. It's a cheap dinner. <laughs> you but it'll be filling. Your 
sword of mana. Don't move, Pitiful. I have no time to play with pops. Do what you will. Good job, Charlotte, being sassy in the face of... <laughs> oh, once we have the sword, the beast men are unnecessary. Do what you will, sire. Ah, what a simpleton. To think that the king has no interest in this fantastic sword. <laughs> if you wish to say fairy, give me the sword like good children. But don't make any sudden Eat her. Ew. This is it. A sword of mana is ours. Stop! What? What is this? Oh no, it's too good. <laughs> you need a pure heart like mine to use it. Charlotte, I do enjoy your sass. Oh no. The sword of mana reflects the heart of its wielder. A sword of good can be corrupted. Evil and good are two parts of the same whole. Indeed, was this sword even meant to be good in the first place? Uh, I mean, I think it was. I once followed his eminence, Wendell's Priest of Light. He could not save the world with all his goodness. The world is still dark, still painful, still full of hate. Existence is the same thing as suffering. Our master, the Masked Mage, will use the sword of mana to release the world from the suffering of life through death itself okay heath okay heath stop it you're you're, re you're rehashing the plot of final fantasy 10 come on yes oh joyous day now the mana sword belongs to the master <laughs> Must release the Benevidons from the mana stones with the sword of mana. I will return first and report to the masked mage. <laughs> Soon the Benevidons will destroy the people of this world. <laughs> oh, the souls I shall consume. My mouth is all. Save some room in my stomach, so I will refrain from devouring you three. Yet. Yes. Farewell for now. <laughs> Gormon's the most disturbing of all three of the bad guys. I know, it couldn't also be the dark, whirling vortex surrounding him. Jeez. I don't want to talk about Heath anymore. I don't care. A man who's, you know, visibly possessed. No matter what. Oh, Dead Mountain Dew Gourmet.
Well, hi, hard to miss. <laughs> the fairy inside you, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Oh no, look at all the bad stuff that they mentioned at the beginning of the game. Hope they wouldn't happen is happening now. Oh no, what a strange turn of events. This is horrible. The Benevidons have awakened. Lenny face. <laughs> we still have a chance. Right now, all eight Benevidons are separate. So, if we can defeat each one before they join and combine their power, the world might yet be saved. Let's go to the Mana Stone. Oh no, defeat the Benevidons. Well, that sounds like something we'll have to do next time. Because I'm kind of not jumped. Game. Well, I'm going to get to a save point, and then we'll fight the Benevidons in the next stream. First, we're just going to get out of here. There's <laughs> the tequila sunrise. Jeez. I just realized, can I use a rope? I can't. I never use them because I'm like, well, it's free experience. A lot of free experience. It's easy experience. Where is the... Oh. That doesn't sound very benevolent of them. gotten any of those question mark question mark question mark seeds I have not I just thought I would check because I know sometimes but well, the two times I've gotten to this part I've had at least one by the time one of us has turned level 38 Oh, I could just jump over that. I didn't know I could. Cool. Like I said, we're going to be doing the Benevidons next time, but I'm going to head to the Minor Sanctuary and plant those seeds and then save. Them we can, yeah, we can do any of. I think we can do them in any order we want. And I think I might know which one I'm gonna do first, because that's one I always usually wait till last, and it's always kind of annoying. So I figured I might do this one, that one first. But nope, we're we're done for this stream, because I'm, um, yep, like right at two hours. Because I need something to drink, I need to get some food in me, and rest up a little bit, because I'm getting a little tired. Because possibly having COVID or not, I am, I know I'm sick with something. And I'm not feeling too great. 
Yay, another ring! Again, that, that I don't need. Let's see, how am I at? Okay, about 11 hours. Alright, well, well, thank you guys for coming to this stream. Um, I don't know who's all even here right now. But, yeah, I know, uh, poor me. I'm not, I'm not feeling good. I feel blay. But, yep, I will see you guys probably about 30 minutes or so. And if, uh, like I think Mad Madison, Skulls, and Lulz are the only two here right now. But uh, if someone else is, I see a couple people. I don't know. If you guys want to see Skulls and Lulz finish up Last of Us 2, follow them. It's going to be in about 30 minutes. Bye.